Hey guys, what's going on? It's Griffin and today I have an absolute banger for you. I'm going to show you exactly how you can instant kill the Stormcaller in Modern Warfare 3 with zero things required. And now the Stormcaller itself is going to drop you infinite amounts of wonder weapons, essence and top tier items as he spawns infinite amount of times. The first step in this method is literally heading to the storm. So jump in a game, locate the storm, and on the way there, pick up a vehicle. I highly recommend the LTV. Once you're there at the storm, literally gun it for the center, and there's a storm caller. Catches aggro by just driving near him and literally just continuously drives out of the storm. Now the storm caller itself will follow you for as long as it can. Now as soon as it gets out, and it's far enough distance, as long as it's out for five to 10 seconds, it will literally instant kill itself. Now here it is, the loot and the golden skull, as you see here, literally drops 100% of the time. Now, I just wanna show you guys exactly how many times you can do this method in your game itself and absolute rinse a storm caller for all his loot. Now the loot that he does drop is actually insane. It's literally the highest tier that you can get. You might get an epic, but other than that, it's literally gonna be the best. Now here itself, you can see I got the ray gun, a wonder weapon dropped, and you can get literally every single type of wonder weapon dropped from this guy. It is random, oh, and definitely perks as well, just to make this process a little bit easy for you guys. I just want to give you a few tips for this method. Now, once you've entered into the storm and you see the storm caller about to use his special ability, all you want to do is just avoid that because it will instant kill you, but literally drive around in circles, avoiding the zombies until he's finished his special ability. And once he's finished, all you want to do is literally stop on the end, drive in a little bit, catch the aggro and drive out as fast as you can. And I just want to say the storm caller will literally follow you as long as you drive at full speed. And as soon as you slow down, that's when he will stop, as you can see here. I just wanna say a massive thanks to all of you watching this and supporting the channel so far. And again, if you can show that further support, maybe drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, maybe put on the notifications so you never miss a video. And again, I just wanna ask for one more thing, maybe pop in the comments, any ideas, of what you would like me to play, any ideas what you'd like me to do on this channel and I can try and implement them. I just wanna share another tip that I thought would help you guys literally continuously be aware of your surroundings. Now, whether this be knowing where your local buy station is, your bag continuously checking to make sure it's not overflowing or even the petrol station, the gas station, make sure that you know where these spots are and they are relatively easy to get to. Now for myself, I got very fortunate with this gas station and especially in a scenario where I parked up, didn't catch the aggro on the zombies and it gave me a free fuel up. <laughs> Once you've done this, you can literally turn around and head straight back into the storm. I also found another nice easy strategy to this, literally drive in, hit the storm collar direct in the face and obviously he will follow you then. And I do believe this was probably one of the main reasons I could get it nine out of 10 times on the videos. Now, once you've literally collected as many schools as you can, and I would say prioritize the schools to any other items, go to a buy station, sell as much as you can, and you can see there nearly 40,000 essence in one single inventory. Now, literally, again, if you've got enough time left in the game, I would just suggest grind this out as much as you can. Now there is gonna be a few times where you do not catch aggro on the storm caller, but that is honestly okay. It happened a few times to me. All you wanna do is do a U-turn and get back to it. And most of the time you will catch that aggro the second time round. As you can see in this video, I missed the storm caller for the first time and then i just slowed down just at the end just give him a little bit more reaction time and he followed me out now that is literally all for the content of the storm caller drops itself i just want to move on to the next step and that is securing your items that you've dropped and all that essence that you've rinsed the storm caller for all you want to do is head over to the tombstone machine it can be anywhere on the map 
and I recommend going to a tier 1 zone as this will help when you spawn in the next game so you can get those items a little bit quicker. Now as you can see on my map it was literally miles away so I'm just going to speed up this process so you don't have to do that journey with me. Once we get close to the tombstone machine all you want to do is check that inventory just make sure there's no golden skulls left and once you've done that make sure you grab the tombstone as it is the most important part of this. Head over to the buy station and sell those remaining golden skulls and you can see here I just have over 50,000 essence just from one game and that's an incredible amount and if you do it with your friends you can literally share that with them. Now all you want to do for the last step is down yourself. Now I've got help from the zombies this time but you can literally do anything. Oh, and once you've downed just give up and it pains me to say just give up back out of the game and jump into the next one and once you're in the game look for this icon on the screen and run over to it that will take you to your tombstone where you can retrieve your essence and your item and now you have 50,000 essence and a few items I have level 3 plates and a large backpack so I have an instant boost you can run over to the pack punch machine get your level 3 pack a punch on your weapon or even share the points with your friends giving you that instant boost in your next game now you can do this method multiple times through multiple games to get over 100 maybe 200 or maybe 300 files in essence and you can save that for the next games now that is literally all from me guys i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you in the next one